So did she just wander off on her own? She's there. Right, so if I if I fast travel back to the lodge, are you actually gonna Tornik? Over there. Ooh, I've only ever done one of them. Oh, I can't get distracted now. The hunter's lodge is all the way back here. So if I fast travel back there, are you actually gonna be there? Let's find out. I know in some games, um, Skyrim in particular, the NPC, when the NPCs say they're going to travel somewhere, they actually travel there in real time. You can follow them from point A to point B, regardless of how far it is. If you get there before them, you have to wait. Which um, might be realistic, but I can imagine it can be quite inconvenient at times. Thankfully, in a game like Skyrim, there's so much to do anyway, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Well, so I hear anyway. <laughs> I haven't never got very far with it myself. loading screens take forever. I was travelling a far way, I realised that, but somehow I don't think that's the reason for it. Come on, you can do it. Nearly there. And there. Come on. We're there now. Come on. Come on. And here we are, back where we started. So, um... Okay, Hunter's Lodge is this way. I suspect I do need to visit a merchant at some point. I've probably got a pretty full inventory at the moment. I'm back. How's it going, Ligon? Ligon? Huh. What do you know? She is fast. Right, this is going to be fun. Ready? Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of the Nora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements. And Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it would bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, <laughs> I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. You say that, but that's the first time I've seen you move since I met you. In every society, whenever an old way is replaced by a new way, there will always be people who can't let go. Oh, deadliest game. I'll bet you that's... Let's see. Talana instructed Aloy to improve her standing in the lodge by bringing back Thunder Jaw. What? What? This... This is a good day. Um, 
Is it? I don't think he agrees. I know why I hate a cease. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the lodge. My father and brother were both hawks. A cease let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um, what sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as hawks. Instead, a cease will not let anyone mention it. Now why would you do that? Um, first of all, what massacre is this? Like the Red Raids, that massacre? Or is this something else? What happened in the massacre? King Duran's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sun Ring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more Hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. I had heard something about that, actually. Um, tell me about the Sun Ring. What happened to the men in the Sun Ring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. So presumably that's how he became Sunhawk then, yeah? What can you tell me about your family? How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from Menorah. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. <laughs> I didn't know. I'll remember that. So, Redmaw. What's Redmaw? Few have seen it. A thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Red Maw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the Lodge itself. I have to unseat Assis. We'll see what we can do. So what happens now? Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. Wow. A Stormbird and a Thunderjaw. I knew this day would come. Didn't go far, did you? Leave me be, Savage. I'm gonna find Redmore there, mate. Right. I think I've done the exploring around here already, haven't I? In any case, let's have a look at the quests. Oh no, actually, first let's have a look at the skills. Combat override increases the time a machine will remain overridden by 50% or repair a damaged mount using metal shards. We'll get that one. And we're nearly on to tier 3 there. That's good. And let's have a quick look at quests. See what's next on our... Roadmap? Is that the right way of looking at it? 20, level 27 corrupted zones. It's going to be a while before we do that. There's, there's the uh, quest we just gained, level 18. 
won't be doing that one so that leaves us with level 16 honor the fallen I believe yeah let's have a look at that some priest Naman wants to usher in a new era of reconciliation between tribes by helping three pilgrims each wishes to mourn loved ones lost during the Red Raids, but obstacles stand in the way. Okay, we can do that. Let's get rid of it. Ooh, that looks useful. How many shot? Three shot traps I've got to sell, and a health potion. Right, let's um oh let's talk to Legan before we go any further because he knows the story of the sun ring. Two new thrushes in one day. Makes a hawk proud. Two? Who was the other one? Who else just became a thrush? Ardic. I see him rising to the top very quickly. He reminds me of myself at his age. What will you say when I bring in a Thunderjaw trophy? That's a wonderful goal. Perhaps you can have Ardy give you some tips. Ooh, that's not what I had in mind. What do you know about Redmaw? Do you know where Redmaw is? I do not. Rumor of it spreads quickly within the lodge. As soon as it is spotted, it disappears again. So, I understand you know about the massacre? Can you tell me what happened during the massacre? Ah, terrible time. King Jaran purged loyal subjects and traitors alike throughout the Sundom. He even called out members of our lodge. Why? Some spoke out against the killing. And when the soldiers came for them, we all objected. And for that crime, those who were not arrested were forced to watch our comrades murdered in the sun ring. I shouldn't say more. Please. Tell me what happened that day in the Sun Ring. Normally, victims of the Sun Ring fell within minutes as the crowd cheered, cheered their deaths. But not with our hawks. They stood alone against wave after wave of machines. Hours passed, the men taking turns fighting as the others rested. The crowd's mood turned, rallying around our men. Some of them left, their blood lost unsated. We members stayed and watched till nightfall. And what happened at nightfall? What happened in the sun ring at nightfall? The sun had set, and only firelight and the glow from the machines lit the ring. It was then the court released a behemoth. Several hawks at once jumped into the ring to fight alongside the condemned. They had snuck in their weapons. I wish I had as well. The machine didn't discriminate. It crashed into the stand, devastating spectator and fighter alike. It was a slaughter. How did it end? And how did the battle in the Sun Ring come to an end? Talana's father climbed atop a behemoth and with one well-placed spear destroyed it, just as a second knocked him to his death. Her brother and the others fought this second behemoth, falling one by one as they put themselves between the beast and the stands. And so we and the spectators were saved. Those who had once cheered for their deaths thanked the dying men for their very lives. What a brave end. And how terrible that no one speaks of it. And why is that though? Why is he banned everyone from speaking of it? I must say I'm surprised by your achievements, bringing in a stalker already. Well, you know. Save your surprise. I'm just getting started. Okay, so let's find a merchant. Uh, they were down here, weren't they? Oh no, I'm buying from you. You're a special merchant, don't want you so much. Let's go around the other side. Here we go. 
Okay, let's see what we can sell. We need to keep the hearts for various different reasons. Sell that, that looks like extra. Same there. Fourteen blades. I must remember to up my stock of fire arrows. Wow! Look at all this chill water. I'll keep the rich meat for now. I'm probably going to need it at some point. I'm not sure I need all this wire. I'll just give it to one of these. give it the tiny meat as well. I don't think that's any use to anything. Not like I can convert it up to fatty meat or anything. As far as I'm aware you can't anyway. Get rid of that one. Okay, what have you got to buy? Oh, I can get a rope caster. Nice, we'll pick that up. Uh, I'm not going to equip it though. I still need the war bow, I need a trampler half of that. I need the skins of practically everything to get the rattler. Boar, rabbit and fox. I need a lancehorn heart for the blast sling. And I've got a tear blaster already. Oh, I just picked that up, didn't I? I just picked that up. I was going to say, when did I kill a thunder jaw? <laughs> what about outfits? Razors, long legs, charger, bellow back, shell walker, and crystal grading. Have I not had any crystal grading? Oh, before I forget. Sell three of them. Sell one of them. Now I can get rid of those. Excellent. Um, so was there nothing I can buy then? He hasn't got a free box for me. How disappointing. Okay, cool. Right, so... Uh, excuse, dude, dude, I need to... There we go. Thank you very much. Let's have a quick look at the map. Let's see where these three points are. One's up there. Shrine of Kings. Sun's Climb is there. Lake Shrine is there. Let's go to the Sun Climb. Get that metal flower while we're at it. And that campfire as well. Charger site. I think we need a Charger Heart, don't we? Yeah, number one is this way. <laughs> I'm not going to need the lift, is that what you're telling me at this point? It's fine that women are rising in the hunter's lodge. It's all those savages I don't like. Whoa, I heard that. Who said that? I'm tired. I've worked enough to last a lifetime. Yeah, don't take it out on me. This is not the lift, and oh my god, look how high up we are.
All right. I can't be bothered. Let's just fast travel out. It's just taking too damn long. See, now that is how long a loading Library screen should take. Only the finest goods here. Clearing up. See for Good. yourself. Do a quick save while I'm here. Okay, so number one is yeah, this way. I think maybe after I've done this quest, I'll start looking at the map and seeing if there's things like um, cauldrons or bandit camps or the tall necks that I should be clearing out because I feel like I've been neglecting them somewhere for some reason. They need to be done, and uh, I'm not sure if there's any that I should have completed by now. Yoink, I'll have that. Okay, we're in the jungle. It's time to... Hmm, should I hunt those two? Is that a fish or a rat? Rat. Oh, in the rain, no less. When did that happen? Gotcha. Nutritious. Didn't get anything for it, mind. Okay, here are the charges. Just in case we have to fight them, let's have a quick look, see what their deal is. Fire and tear. Seems to be a common thread, really, doesn't it? Now I do need to charge a heart. If I go in the water, I'm not going to get attacked by snap balls. I don't think I am. This one appears to be more or less on his own. I wonder if I can just take him out without attracting the others. Wow. Jesus, not only can I do it, I can do it quickly. Damn, that was... Bloody impressive, if I don't say so myself. Didn't get a heart out of it, though. Uh-oh. Dude, did you not see what I just did? No one to blame but yourself, you got too close. You? Oh, missed. Did I just take him down with one shot? Holy crap, I think I did. Wow. I was not expecting that. He must have just, because uh, he charged at me, he must have just taken it full brunt or something. I don't really know. Uh oh. Another one down. Still don't have a charge of heart, I don't think. That's probably what that is over there, though. Nope. Just a lens. How annoying.
What a stupid place to build a fire. Turkey. Yeah. Ah, there's a road. That's useful. Sort of a road, anyway. Oh, is this that? Um... Oh crap! What is? What was making the noise? Oh, of course, it's Glen Hawks. I think this is that massive um, stone pillar you see from Meridian. Well, hang on a minute. I can't see the climb up that way, but I did see handholds over here. Here we go. Okay, that could have gone wrong. Hmm. Oh, I thought I'd spoken too soon, but it carries on around. And that's as far as it goes. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. So I'm guessing the obstacle in the way in this particular instance is the glint hawks. Well, lucky for you dudes, I've had some experience with taking them out recently. There's one. Oh, I can't use my focus when I'm hanging on a ledge. That didn't work. Gotcha, finally. Alright, not a lot I can do about you down there. Now then, you're playing the backside. Written, then that would have looked really good. Yeah, 
Yes. I think I'll be getting to the last one anytime soon. There's a metal flower over there. Wandered lonely as a cloud, that sounds familiar, that floats on high over boughs and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their head in sprightly dance. I've missed a bloody stanza out there. They stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in a sprightly dance. Ugh. Never was very good at poetry. Ah, now where have you been hiding all this time? Mr. You look like a Banook, actually. Kim... Kimik? You are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glintocks linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes. There will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans. To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. Oh no, that, that's the stone pillar I was referring to there. I don't know where the hell I am now then. Nice mark though. Right, so why do I still have a marker with... Oh, because now there's no longer three, there's only two. I'm, right, okay. So the next number one is... The Lake Shrine. 